Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough, I'm gonna be taking you through the newest installment in our Hopkin Instrumentarium series, Miago Trad. This library further expands the sonic palette of the series with an instrument that's never quite been seen or heard before. Miago Trad is a giant resonating yamalophone that was created by master instrument inventor, Bart Hopkin. It has a mysterious bassy and metallic timbre that's ideal for your next scoring project that requires something that's truly unique. This library is built for the Free Contact 6 player and is compatible with all NKS standard hardware. Alright, so without further ado, let's dive in and start checking out Miagotrod. Alright, so for any of you that are current owners of any of the other Hopkin Instrumentarium libraries, you'll see that the GUI has a very similar layout. So you have two different slots for layers 1 and 2, which allow you to combine different articulation types. You also have a slot for ambiences, for different sound design pads and drones, as well as a slot for the sub-synth layer, so you can layer in some different synth type sounds to really kind of thicken up or broaden the different sound or the tonal quality of the different sounds. So it's really nice for layering and kind of thickening up the sound or just adding a little bit, just for giving it a little bit more of a tonal variety. And then up here, you also have the advanced tab, so you can add in some different LFO and filter and arpeggiator presets to really just kind of you know expand the possibilities of the library. So let's go ahead and check out some of the different articulations that come with Miago Trad. And if you want to see the different ones, you just click this little category drop down and we have mallets, shaft, soft, pluck, hammer, tap, bounce, different types of slides, percussion, and effects. So uh, now let's just go ahead and play through some of these to give you an idea of, of the sounds that come with the library. You can hear that some of these have really nice bell and chimey quality to it and also that really nice low end that kind of fills out the sound. This is some uh, hammer articulations. Some taps. Some different types of slides. You also have some percussion. And one thing to know is if you look right here above the category drop down, you'll see there's this icon and this allows you to take a specific sound that you like and map it across the key range. So let's say, let's say we like that sound and we want to have it everywhere. So we can go ahead and click this icon and you'll see it, then it turns into a question mark. So it wants you to tell it which note you want to stretch around. So then you just hit that and then now it's mapped so we can start diving into horror territory a little bit. So as you go down, it'll really stretch and kind of mangle the sound a little bit. And as it goes up, it starts to, you know, sound a little bit quicker and a little bit tighter. And we can go even lower. 
know, once you start th throwing some reverbs and delays on that, you can get some pretty cool effects, which you can actually do with the effects rack. So if you go into the effects rack right here, turn on some delay, some reverb, let's go ahead and change this to a cathedral. We'll turn up the mix a little bit and let's we'll see what we got. We can even turn that a little bit higher, increase the feedback of the delay. Let's go ahead and turn up the mix a little bit. So you can start to get some pretty cool sounding effects. And with layer two, you have the same articulation set as layer one. So it really allows you to mix and match combine, uh, combining maybe a higher metallic sound with a more lower thud type sound. So really have a lot of different options. And then you also have the ability to have a separate advanced tab for each layer. So you can really get creative and just sky's the limit with this. So. All right, so now let's go ahead and dive in and check out some of the different ambiences that come with the library. And there's 25 to choose from, all handcrafted from the source material. So really kind of taking these sounds, these really just raw recordings and just really sound designing them to give you some really interesting textures and pads to underlay for scoring or underscoring and that sort of stuff. So let's just go ahead and play through some of those. <laughs>
All right, so last but not least, let's go ahead and dive in and check out some of the different custom effects presets that come with the library. There's 20 to choose from, and these really showcase the possibilities of the library and really show you what you can do with the different effects rack effects and the advanced tab features. So let's go ahead and check some of those out. So with this effects preset, you'll see that I'm sort of fading in some different ambiences as I'm hearing some of the rhythmic stuff going on. So basically to do that, all you have to do is uh, go to any layer that you want and just assign it to layer A or layer B, and then you can map your mod wheel to the X fade up top, and then it'll allow you to just fade in whatever you want. It could be rhythms, it could be synths, it could be some ambiences, so it's really up to you as far as how you want to manipulate it and have different things playing at the same time. So. So right here, it's just more rhythmic. And I really like doing stuff like that because it sort of limits the amount of tracks that I need to use and just really having it all in one uh, for specific sounds that I need really makes it easy and really makes it more time efficient when composing.
All right, so that about wraps it up for this walkthrough of Miyagotrod. If you'd like to learn more about this library or any of the other products within the Hopkins Instrumentarium series, make sure to go to soundiron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.